Uh, on the first question about uh, uh, contraindication uh, and the list of people who we will advise uh, against taking vaccines, uh, we are still uh, updating based on the data that uh, we continue to get from uh, other parts of the world. Uh, when we are certain about, uh, for instance, pregnant women, then uh, we will, uh, KKM will announce that uh, whether or not pregnant women will be able to take the vaccines. For now, it's still under consideration and uh, we will make an announcement soon. Secondly, on the um, vaccine uh, variant clause, uh, there is in the existing uh, agreement with Pfizer uh, such a clause. When I negotiated, I ensured that uh, if there was an upgrade based on new variants, then our existing uh, contract would cover uh, vaccines that are upgraded or, or new kinds of vaccines from Pfizer. Uh, in light of mutation and mutations and, and variants. Uh, it's similar with the other vaccine contracts as well. Uh, we've uh, secured uh, contracts which will enable us to get uh, upgraded vaccines in light of variants and mutations. Untuk uh, perolehan daripada Johnson and Johnson, Jemaah Menteri telah buat keputusan berdasarkan kepada show daripada Jawatan Kuasa Jaminan Akses Vaksin uh, untuk kita beli uh, vaksin tersebut. Berdasarkan kepada vaksin itu merupakan vaksin satu dos dan bukan dua dos dan juga uh, rundingan berkenaan dengan maklumat klinikal yang nampak setakat ini uh, sangat uh, positif. Uh, jadi kita masih lagi dalam proses rundingan dan dalam masa yang terdekat uh, saya uh, difahamkan yang berhormat Dato' Sri Dr. Adham akan menandatangani kontrak untuk kita memperolehi uh, vaksin daripada Johnson & Johnson dan selepas itu dapatlah uh, barulah dapat kita hantar ke NPRA untuk penilaian.